Hey guys, so I thought I'd do an update, uh, a, a big update, some uh, purchases that I uh, saw. So I my deep, deep discount purchases, they, they are having a sale, then, then Fanime. It was an anime convention I, I went over there on uh, Memorial Day weekend, so I'll get started here. Because I got a lot to show off. Um, I don't think I've ever had this big of an update. But anyway, so I got the big discount uh, sale. I got 19.90 the Bronx Warriors. Blue Underground, you know, this is one I've been wanting for a while. I, I enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun. Uh, the Blue Underground transfer, it was kind of fuzzy, kind of grainy in some parts. Really the only issue I had with this was the transfer was a bit inconsistent at times. But I still enjoyed the movie. Uh, great special features that, uh, as well that um, are, are worth watching. This is, this is worth getting if you haven't seen it. I may get the other two movies because there's Escape from the Bronx and I think the New Barbarians are the other two, um, you know, later on. And I did get um, the Blue Underground. This is the Diabolical, Bizarre, Sadistic, uh, The Million Eyes of Sumeru and The Girl from Rio. I believe these movies are related. Um, this is Jeff Franco directed... You know, so I'm trying to get more to Jeff Franco's movies. I've only seen Venus and Furs and Blood from Fu Manchu. Or from Blood from Fu Manchu or something like that. One of the Fu Manchu movies he did, yeah. And then I got Opera. Dario Argento. This one I've been wanting to see for a while as well. I do plan on getting more of his stuff down the line. But uh, this is a good price. I don't have a lot. I don't have any Scorpion releasing any other movies but yeah so it's a, this is the first for me and then I got The Pit I enjoyed this movie <laughs> so basically this character here Jamie uh, he discovers a pit and it has these uh, troglodyte monsters in it I believe that's what they are and he throws them in there because that's his way of taking revenge on, on people that have wronged him He's kind of a perverted kid, I remember as, as well. So it's an interesting combination. Um, the trailer isn't new movie justice, unfortunately. I mean, you could watch the trailer if you want. It's on YouTube. But to really appreciate it, you have to watch the movie because it goes more in depth than the trailer does. And you understand why he does what he does. And there's kind of a psychological aspect to it, to the character as well. You gotta learn why he is the way he is. And the trailer doesn't really you know, illustrate any of that. And then lastly from the sale I got Succubus, another Jess Franco movie. One I'm curious about. Um, yeah, looks pretty kinky. <laughs> but I'm for I'm all for that, you know. Um, should be fun. Uh, I think I'll read it in on the back. Um at a chic nightclub for jaded jet setters, a simulated snuff performance is a main attraction, and Lorna, its leading lady, is the obsession of men and women alike. Little do they realize that Lorna's mystifalian manager, I think, has transformed her into the essence of evil, a devil on earth. Soon the century's startlet, startlet stage persona possesses her entirely, thrusting Lorna into the hallucinatory world of sadomasochistic excess and drawing everyone she touches into her debaucherous delirium. Can anyone stop Lorna before her stage show becomes a murderous reality? Starring the beautiful Janine Renault, 200 cover Angels, Kiss Me Monster, Rick Taylor of the Ghost, Galleon, The Ninth Gate, and Howard Vernon. The awful Dr. Roloff, Delicatassian, Just Franco's director of 91 Nine Woman Vampire Rose, Lesbos, Faustian Fever Dream provides the blueprint for the erotic core as we become the infamous director's enduring legacy. Nearly mastered from the original fault materials, Succubus features exclusive access, including early interviews with Jeff Franco and Jack, Jack Taylor. So this sounds like, like a good time. I think I will enjoy it. Yeah. Um, I'm not really into the sexploitation stuff, as, as I've said before. I don't think this is quite that, though. I think it's more Euro trash than exploitation. But it should be a fun watch. 
put this over here. And for family, I'm going to start with the two comics that I bought. I, you know, graphic novels, Batman Hush. Uh, I look forward to reading this. Uh, I've been wanting to read this one for a while, actually. And then I got Daredevil, Volume 1. They didn't have the other two volumes because there was a booth there. They had a, a lot of comics. You know, like Fanime, it's mostly Fanime and manga, so there's not going to be a lot of comics there. I'm okay with that. I still have a good time. I'm, I'm a casual anime fan. Maybe I'll talk about that more later. So I, I do like some of it, yeah. And then the rest of the Fanime haul. So the games I got. I got Blood Rain. PS2. Should be fun. Yeah, I, and I got a yeah, decent product on this. The, the Bit Replay. Your local game, uh, used game store, they, they were there, so I got this game from them. And I got uh, from the Swap Meet. I got Dragon's Crown. I look forward to playing this, actually. It looks interesting. Here's the back. Um, so. I have a PS3, and about a year ago, I thought it quit working. I, I, I thought it wasn't reading discs. But then a couple weeks ago, I, I put a you know PS1 game in there, and then I put a PS3 game in, in there, and it read both of them. So I don't know what the problem was, but I'm not having problems with it anymore. So that's good. And I got Bayonetta, uh, also from the swap meet. Yeah. Should be worth playing. Yeah, I've been I've been kind of curious about this game, and then I got Tomb Raider Underworld also from Bit Replay. I know this is kind of out of order. I apologize for that, but hey. And then the rest of the family all is, is um, movies. Yes, <laughs> I got the Assassination of Jesse James for the cover of Robert Ford, and this was two bucks at the swap meet. You can't beat that. I mean, yeah, I've been curious about this one. Brad Pitt, Casey Affleck. I do enjoy westerns. I know I don't buy them that often, but I, I do enjoy them. Um, this one I've never heard of. It's a Shaw Brothers movie, Ninja in Ancient China. And I'm not sure if it's a sequel to Five Element Ninjas, if it's related to it at all, because it does mention Five Element Ninjas on the back, which I still haven't seen that movie. I'm a, I may get the 88 Films Blu ray. I might as well, because if I have this one and it's right away to that movie, I can, you know. I got the butterfly, butterfly effect, though. I, I enjoyed this movie. I've seen it before. The disc has a lot of scratch. Yeah, it's scratched up, so hopefully it'll work. I don't know if you can really see that. Um, if not, I guess I'll get it resurfaced. I mean, two bucks off for... I, I could have done worse in that regard. And I got Ghost Ship. So I'm going to swap me. Cool uh, lenticular cover. I, I think this was like pretty cheap too. Swap me. Yeah, I always do the good swap me at Family Night Easter because I get good deals there. Like I got two games and two movies and I only spent 10 bucks. So I mean, can't be that. And then this one I've never heard of Crucible of Terror. <laughs> Eh, I thought it looked interesting. You know, I might review it because I don't think anyone on YouTube has. It seems rather unknown, you know, rather obscure, but uh, should be worthwhile. And then there was, I think it was Anime Pavilion. They said some horror. They don't have a lot of horror stuff, but I got Curse, Death, and Spirit. This is um, Hideo Nakata. I haven't seen the Ring movies yet, Ringu, those movies, you know, but I did see Dark Water. I really liked that one, um, and this has three stories on it. I might review this one because this, you know, I, I don't watch anthology horror that often, and, and especially like Japanese anthology horror, I'm not really that familiar with the Asian stuff in that regard. I mean, I've, th I've seen Three Extremes and Three Extremes 2. But this one, it seems it's, uh, you know, obscure, it seems like. And I might get another disc for this because 
uh, you know, for that reason, I might get another case, is what I meant to say. It's scratched up a little on the back, but it should be fine. It should be play. It should be play fine. It was loose when I bought it, and and the um, the plastic wrap was kind of torn. I I got the impression that this had been moved around a lot and transitioned from anime pavilion to fanime, or you know, I don't know how long they've had this until somebody bought it. But I figured I'd I'd get it, you know. And then I also got Nazula, the rat monster. <laughs> This looks like a good time, you know. Look at the screenshots. Yeah, more Asian horror. This is also from Anime Pavilion. But yeah, that's all I have to show for today. Uh, probably see on. I think it's gonna be some upcoming reviews. I still haven't done a video on Video Tanfa. I just, you know, been working and. In that transition with uh, other jobs as well and other commitments so I'll try and get out other videos as soon as I can but uh, I think you guys are watching have a good one